watching BBN Tonight, presented by UK Federal Credit Union. All right, welcome back to BBN Tonight. So Benny Snell, and this caught me off guard when I read this before the show, is entering his fourth season now right? in the NFL. Seems I like know. just yesterday he was running all up and down Kroger Field for the Cats. But it hasn't stopped him consistently giving back to the community here around Lexington now that he is in the NFL. That's right, and this week he was here at George Rogers Clark High School in Winchester hosting a youth football camp, and our Josh Berrien was there. Now, yeah, on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's get it. What does it mean just to give back to the community that, you know, watch you play for, you know, all this time uh, before going pro? Yeah, um, it means a lot, man. I'm very blessed and thankful that I'm able to have this opportunity to do it. Um, you know, with this going on to the third camp, uh, you know, I want to just make every year better. You know, I want the kids to get a lot more knowledge, um, get to understand the game more. That each kid is able to, you know, focus and, you know, get better than what they did last year when they came. You know, so it, it means a lot, you know, that they were watching me um, when I was in college to now. And I just want them to, you know, gain something a little bit better every time they're with me. And what's going on with the color scheme of this year's camp? I was at last year's camp. What was going on this year? This year with the camp, we is not with the Miami Dolphins. I just want to make that sure and clean. I had the pictures. Maybe I can see them, but they're up front of me when I was little. Um, I want to say I was probably around six. And then I got another picture where I was probably about eight, eight or ten years old. And I was with the Hurricanes. That was my team when I was little. Um, and with the color scheme and the reason those pictures are there, it all ties into that. I was there once upon a time, you know, so... Um, putting the emphasis in that, I'm just showing my roots, you know, on how, how, where it came from, how it happened and that, you know, I was, I was there once upon a time so the kids could see that and relate like, oh, you know, that's how he was when he was little and he put the work in to get where he is now. This is what Benny loves to do on his off time, basically be out here with the kids, uh, run with the kids, play with the kids, let the kids know that work hard, stay motivated, you can do anything you want to do. Um, this year, he kind of brought it back to his childhood. It's like his, he calls it his hurricane years and some pictures of him when he was playing youth football because he said he didn't have anyone to do this when he was coming up. So just to stay motivated, Benny loves Lexington, will always be through and through Kentucky, and he'll always be back here giving whenever he can. Lexington's home. I will forever, uh, this will forever be home for me, and I will definitely always be around um, trying to help out, whether it's with the community, with the kids, um, and maybe in the future with the football team. So um, it's very important to me and you know, it's a long way, came a long way. Where do you assess your skill set right now as a pro? Obviously, you know, you were uh, one of the best college football players coming out of Kentucky when you got drafted, yeah. but where are you right now in terms of your skill set and, and how, far, how much further your game can grow? I can never say I've made it so far or, you know, gotten complacent of where I'm at. You know, every day is a new battle and I'm putting my head down and working. Right now, I feel like there's a lot that I could learn um, I feel like I'm a sponge at all times. You know, I could work a little, a little bit more on my decision making on the field, uh, getting my feet better. You know, uh, to get faster. You know, a lot of things that I can round my game and do better on. So every opportunity that I get, it's a, it's a good one. You know, I'm gonna take all precautions to get ready. Um, excited for camp. Excited for the season. You know, um, a lot, a lot of good things coming up for the future. So I'm ready to attack and make it happen. What does it mean to just have your family out here, your mom, you know, seeing what you're doing here in the community, and for her to help out as well? You know, I'm very happy and thankful that you know my family and, and mom and parents get to be here to see this. You know, they were once upon a time bringing me to somebody's camp, and I'm trying to get all I can out the player and get better. And now I'm hosting them. So. Uh, very blessed and thankful for my mom. You know, she's done a lot for me um, to, to get me here today. So, very happy. Boys and girls, we're gonna say thank you, mom and dad, on three. One, two, three. Thank you, mom and dad. Thank you, thank you. To see the smile on his face and like what this means to him, you know, you know, what 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 does that give you? Like just looking at him where he was when he was younger to now, and now people looking up to him and you know wanting his autograph, just being inspired by him and his story. It's just pride, proud. He's taking me on the best journey. I mean, as, as a son, um, each level, middle school, high school, college, professional, he continues to grow, he continues to give back. He's always gonna be trying to just do what he can, when he can, and it just makes me proud, you know, I love him.
It was good to hear that snail. Yeah, I haven't yeah, heard that in yeah, the exactly. beginning of that package mm -hmm. to start that off. I like that. And always got to oh, check in with Mama, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, uh, of course, Benny uh, heading into a big year in the yeah. NFL with Pittsburgh. As mm -hmm. we mentioned, it's his fourth season. It's kind of his last year before Pittsburgh decides if they want to retain him for right. that fifth-year option. Mm -hmm. And uh, a little bit dinged up last year. Saw his numbers go yeah. down a little bit and also behind Najee Harris. But uh, right. expected to be one of the, the key backup running backs yeah. in that running back We'll room. see how he does mm -hmm. with the, is the new name, not Heinz Field anymore. That's right. Maybe, yeah. maybe it'll bring him some luck. <laughs> All right, when we come back, the friendships these athletes make at Kentucky Bowl, they are for life. Mm -hmm. Isaiah Briscoe has been there every step of the way for Tyler Ulis in his recovery from a pretty bad car accident. Hear from him when we come back.